As you know, I've been communicating with Gage Grosskreutz about a whole bunch of issues, and one of those was his recent hit and run that left him pretty badly injured. I made fun of him at the time, but maybe I shouldn't have. At any rate, he did send me an email that described what happened and how he found the person who hit him. No, the Milwaukee Police Department apparently didn't do much here. It was Gage Grosskreutz who tracked down the driver. So, let's read his email. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brainwaves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Some of the contents of his email pertaining to this hit and run were covered in a video short that I will link in the description below. What I will read to you now is some of the other email that he sent to me regarding this incident. All right, here we go. In terms of what happened regarding the actual collision, fairly straightforward. I was crossing the intersection at a crosswalk. Looked both ways, despite it being a one-way, saw the black sedan waiting with its blinker on, and may have even waved to them as they waited to turn. I took two steps into the crosswalk, and I look to my right, and I see a silver SUV coming towards me. I put my hands up, hush, I'm not sure what it means by that, and as I'm thinking, oh shit, next thing I know I'm on top of the hood, pulled under, and with my head on the pavement, get dragged until finally the back tire jumps over me and I'm laying in the street. Surprisingly, I didn't lose consciousness and was able to keep it together until I got to the hospital. The part that bothers me is that I told one person my previous identity because there was no information coming back on the current, which was done by design. Unfortunately, law enforcement tipped off Jessica McBride and a little bit more about her in a moment, and she has known since the beginning of September. Really unfortunate to go through all this trouble to have it come out like this. No love lost, like you previously said. And what he's doing is he's complaining about Jessa McBride publishing his new identity. And I can understand why he'd be pretty mad about that. As for the aftermath, what a joke. The day I got out of the hospital, I was going to every business owner with a camera on Brady Street and tracked Mr. Thomas's movements in his girlfriend's 2011 Silver Ford Escape for five blocks prior to him hitting me. Go figure, he's driving recklessly. And five blocks after. He speeds up and blows at least two stop signs. But remember, he said he didn't recall hitting anyone. Eventually, I got footage that showed 1 64th of a second frame with a semi-discernible license plate. From there, I double-checked the WIDMV plate records, cross-checked with title holders, and then hired a private investigator to verify the current owner, and then compiled all this information and presented this to the Milwaukee Police Department. Unsurprisingly, none of the business owners said they spoke to the police really makes you wonder why. So in short, I found the person who hit me. It took me one hour to put all this together, and I'm just astonished at how this whole situation has progressed. So it looks like the Milwaukee Police Department put out no effort to track down who hit him. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Like my video and subscribe to my channel.